When you're ready to get started with the content and installing it, if you're self-hosted, you can just use the install module option from the add-on modules part of your setup. And we recommend that you have the BaileyWiki installation guide and FAQ open and to the required and recommended modules section. That way you can see what extra modules you may want to grab as they're not all explicitly listed as dependencies since a lot of them have optional functionality. You can start off by searching for BaileyWiki and you'll notice that this will say install here versus unlock for all of the modules that you need. You can install these in basically any order. We do tend to recommend that you go ahead and install Towns at the very beginning as it's listed as a dependency for a lot of things. So install Nuts and Bolts first and then go ahead and install Towns. Many of the modules list Towns as a dependency, so this will be a little bit faster than having to say yes to it installing it. And sometimes if you're attempting to install multiple modules at once, it can cause some issues with the Foundry install module browser. So it's better to go slowly and install things one at a time. Note that installing some of these modules, they are quite large. For example, Towns is almost two gigabytes in size, so it may take a moment for it to install. Just be patient. And if you ever get an issue where something times out, these are hosted on the Foundry VTT's actual Amazon web server. And so if it's something times out, just try again in a little bit and it should work then. For all of these packages, it'll have the option for installing package dependencies. Mandatory ones are going to be automatically checked, and then you can decide what ones you're going to alter. And these will give you both optional and mandatory again. So you can select whether you want to install additional functional modules or just the dependent ones. We recommend that you generally use the install selected dependencies automatically rather than manually. That way you don't accidentally forget to install one of these. And that's going to go through and install all of the appropriate dependencies. You can now repeat this process installing all of the modules as you go along. And again, you'll want to reference that required and recommended modules list to add in any additional modules. With all of the modules optional and otherwise installed, you're ready to go ahead and launch your game. Obviously, this looks like a lot of different modules here. There are a lot of optional pieces here, and I have a few extra additions in here that make navigating content or accessing it a little bit easier, so you can choose which ones that you want to include. Some important notes before we dive in is that some of these maps or assets rely on content in some of the other BaileyWiki modules. For example, BaileyWiki Maps Towns references scenes that have tiles from the city district modules. If you do not have those modules installed, then you will get some white triangle errors indicating that files are missing. So if you encounter that issue as we go along, then make sure that you have all of the BaileyWiki modules installed or that at least if it's labeled for a specific module that you have that one installed as well. Additionally, if you have been using the BaileyWiki Maps Pack or the BaileyWiki Free module, you no longer need to use that. In fact, we recommend that you don't. That way you don't get confused between premium and free scenes and prefabs where they might have some conflict or they might not reference the exact same things. When you're all set, go ahead and launch your world of choice. And in this case, we're using a blank, fresh D&D 5e world. And of course, the very first thing you'll do is go into manage modules. And this is where you will enable the different pieces that you need. And for all of these, you're going to need the BaileyWiki nuts and bolts module. But because these are specified as dependencies, it will go ahead and activate that for you. So you can go ahead and select yes for all of these different dependencies, and you can go through and you can add these additional pieces. And I will go ahead and activate all of these different modules. When you have selected all the modules, go ahead and hit save module settings, and it will ask you to reload, and you can go ahead and do that now. When you've reloaded Foundry, then there may be a few different pop-ups here for different modules or getting started with them. Go ahead and walk through those as you deem appropriate, and then you are ready to rock. So if you are not using the Forge, you can go ahead and end this video here and move ahead to actually bringing in content where we walk through those aspects. For the Forge, in order to install the content, you're just going to go ahead and go to the Bazaar. You can either just click on the button immediately or click on Marketplace in the dropdown. 
And then when you're here, you'll search for the modules as usual. And you can add in the filter of BabyWiki, and then that's going to show you these different pieces. So you can see that you have the options to update immediately if you have them already installed. I'll go ahead and uninstall them to demonstrate really quickly. You can see that this Patreon option says your Patreon subscription allows you to install this package. So you can go ahead and select on that. And it's gonna process and install. Note that interface is gonna be slightly different for towns versus something like the modular city districts. And that is again because the BathWiki maps towns and maps premium modules are grandfathered into the Forge's direct Patreon integration rather than relying on the Foundry BTT Patreon integration. Other modules are going to have just the install button. And when you click on that, it will process and it will go ahead and install for you. If you notice that these modules are not installing, then you may find that you have a server running. The way the Foundry Patreon integration works is it verifies that your license key is only running on one particular instance when it's installing Patreon content. So if you have an issue where it's timing out or saying that you can't install it or don't have access while you're using the Forge, first, verify that you don't have any additional Foundry instances open and running using that license key, just shut them down temporarily. And then if you're still having issues, if you go into My Foundry and you have any of your games running, then you'll see that there's the start server if it's not running. And then once it's running, there's the option to stop the server and make sure you stop any servers that you're running. Otherwise, Foundry can think that you have multiple instances of your server running because of the way the Forge works with installing modules. So if you have issues installing those, make sure that you don't have any servers running. Then once you have that sorted out, go ahead and install all of the modules as you would normally through the bazaar, making sure that you have all of those optional or dependent modules that are specified in the FAQ and installation guide and also by the modules themselves.